Belle, well, well. On Valentine's Day, it was announced that the new creative director of Louis Vuitton Men's would be Pharrell, okay? And this, um, you know, had very mixed opinions. Should it have gone to somebody who is formally fashion trained? Should it not? Louis Vuitton very clearly has this vision of wanting to make the brand bigger across all sorts of aspects. So I'm talking like art, sports, music, all of that. Does this make sense therefore? Virgil wasn't formally fashion trained, blah, blah, blah. There was a lot of discourse about this announcement. So July the 20th, Pharrell showed his first show for Louis Vuitton men's and I am going to go through it with you. I did, I do have my notes here. I wrote notes while watching the show. And also I have been reading interviews leading up to the show about his thought process about this, how he decided to work with the team. Um, so I, I will share a bit of those tidbits as well. This is definitely like the the most hugely anticipated men's show for spring summer 2024. Now one thing that I really wanted to mention that he mentioned in one of these interviews and that I think really shows in this collection so it's important for us to keep in mind is that he said he's coming from a creative director perspective from the consumer. And if there is one thing to say about this collection it is extremely commercial. This collection is going to sell very, very well, okay? So partly why I'm making this video is if you want any of the pieces, reach out to your essays, let them know to start the pre-order process because it's gonna be tough. Also, everybody, let's just ignore the fact that I don't have any nails, okay? My nail appointment is tomorrow. This was the only time I could get them taken off. Okay, fine, let's just move on. I'm going to go chronologically through the collection, pointing out the bits. So the first part of the collection was really focused around this, which is known to be damouflage, okay? The damier print in these, you know, the typical camouflage colors, the army greens, your browns, all of that, um, pixelated. Sloeve did this more recently with their sort of pixel collection. As we delve into the cartoonification of fashion, this is not surprising. The collection is extremely wearable. I'm also going to go through the bags and shoes as we go on, right? Okay, so you've got some of the bags here. This seems to be like a leather tote. And instead of doing the monogram print as we usually see it, this seems to be smaller monograms spaced out and sort of foiled, right? They're like debossed and foiled. Um, you've also got this kind of style as well with sort of silver foiling or debossing and again that looks more of like a travel moment. Guys if you're new here my name is Cassie and I'm a self-diagnosed luxury addict. I put out videos on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays so if you like luxury fashion then you're gonna love it here. So head down there, subscribe, turn on the bell, become a member of our luxury addicted family. When are we going to rehab? <laughs> Never. Okay um this little sort of like messenger bag, fine. You know that's nothing to really write home about. Look in all honesty I'm not a camo girl. I know, shot Kari, you're surprised. Pick your jaws up off the ground. Um, so it's not really, like, the, the camouflage thing isn't really, you know, I'm not, I'm not first in line for that one. Um, but I can see that it's, it's cool, it's nice. I thought these were quite interesting. This sort of Mary Jane moment, obviously menswear, we're seeing Mary Jane a lot for women's wear and you know sort of schoolgirl vibes so interesting to see that that has now transcended also firmly into men's wear also this little sort of satchel bag again that makes me feel nothing i did love this sort of the way that the pixelated had been done in a bit more subtle way for this two-piece also for those of us that like the little more odd accessories this is sort of very virgil this uh, Louis Vuitton coffee cup, I do believe it is ceramic. The sleeve is canvas and the straw either has little LV monograms or the Damier print in it. Love it. We've also got these heavy duty trainer boots. By the way, I'm sorry that I'm having to zoom in instead of having detailed pictures. Vogue Runway, it hasn't been really doing detailed pictures a lot and I cannot count on them for this. So please bear with me, thank you very much. I loved this suit. I thought that that was great. Again, I just like, the Damier print is very sort of, you know, it's not the most obvious Louis Vuitton print. Obviously, if you know Louis Vuitton, the, the Damier print is, is very well known to you, right? But it does tend to be a little bit more on the subtle side. And I just loved the way that it was done with this suit. I just thought, yeah, it was very nice. What are these sort of bikery boots? Mm, not a fan. Also, interestingly, for like a lot of the jeans and some of the trousers, it's a bootleg cut. 
I don't know how I feel about a bootleg. Okay, I recently tried on a pair of Chanel bootleg jeans and I'm like, I think I like myself in them, but also maybe I hate myself a bit, unclear. This was really nice, okay? So this little soft trunk bag that is, you know, very much a staple design in, in Virgil men's Louis Vuitton. But then you've got this little pearl detail and I actually think that the Damier print here has crystals, like monochromatic crystals on it. And I just, I, I really liked that. I liked how it was sort of, you know, pearls tend to be quite, quite a feminine aspect added on to this bag that is, you know, part of the men's collection and all of that. I really liked that. This also, there are two of these, if I remember correctly, these massive Alma bags, you know, worn as a bit more of a travel bag, a weekender, as it were. This one in black leather with the LV debossing. These were interesting. So there are these sort of, fluffy slippers, right? They look like they are absolutely perfect for cozying up by the fireplace, all settling in for a Friday night of terrible television with a takeaway situation, right? However, if we look closely, the, the grips underneath do look to be like a bare paw print, which like, I'm assuming these are for the house, in which case it's cute. You know, like we've all seen those little bedroom slippers that look like, you know, bare feet and whatever, like fine. Um, I'm just hoping that it's, no, that has to be, yeah, that sole is not suitable for wearing outside of the house. In which case, indoors, love it, very cozy, very cute. Not for outdoor use. Um, what is this? That is just um, a little leather camouflage teddy bear, and isn't he lovely? One other thing that we saw a lot of are the resurgence of bum bags. We will be seeing more. I will circle back and let you know my thoughts on them. I do, I mean, like, look at how wearable this is. This shiny, fantastic jacket is right up my alley, okay? It looks glorious, it looks foiled or satiny, and um, it looks sumptuous and glorious. These boots as well, I don't know. I'm not a fan of the boots. They just aren't giving me much. They're fine. They're fine. That's how I feel about them. Um, this also, yep, yeah, get lost in the woods. So we're seeing the Alma bag again, but in more of a light, like a dark beige. Would we say a dark, let's go with a dark beige. Lovely coat. Okay, I strongly urge you, if you have the time, to watch this show. Um, a, just to see, you know, like, it was, it was, it was a fantastic show to watch. And look, I get excited about fashion, that's why I, you know, sit here talking about it. My heart was racing, my adrenaline was going, and I was like, oh my gosh, this is fantastic. Um, because the music, goosebumps. The music, the, the whole soundtrack to it was really, really amazing. But also, there were these golf carts, um, carrying down, where, what we have here was a set of damouflage hard-sided trunk Louis Vuitton luggage, which as we know is how Louis Vuitton started their, um, I was gonna say started their career. Started the brand, I guess. On the, the product on which the brand was founded. You know what I mean. Got a bit of a denim vibe there, fine, great. The collection is very safe, okay? You're not gonna look at this and go, that was really crazy innovative, or like, that was really out of the box and risk taking. You're not gonna see that here. This is extremely safe. And some people aren't gonna like that. Some people are gonna want to see, you know, pushing the boundaries and where's the, you know, out of the box creativity and stuff like that. But at the same time, this is so wearable, it's going to sell phenomenally, right? Which really is what Louis Vuitton want at the end of the day. This trench, love it. Now, now we move into a bit more of a, um, colourful damier phase, right? So you will see a lot of bags that we have the damier ben brown matched with another colour, giving it a big, you know, giving it a contrast. So here we've got yellow. Again, this is sort of like a briefcase-y looking bag. Oh, you also have these bowling shoes. I feel like they're gonna do well for men. I really do. They're a bit odd looking, but like not so lame in the way that all bowling shoes are. Have why have they simply never, they've just leaned into it, haven't they? Like all bowling alleys have just gone, we know they're bad, but nobody can be bothered to change them. So yeah, I think those are gonna do well. Again, this like jacket is great. The shorts are great. Is that a tiny keep all speedy keyring? Yes, it is. This bag I cannot see, apologies. Okay, 
they did two of these well it's the same bag one's just folded over at the top these are leather versions of the Louis Vuitton shopping bags and we've seen a lot of brands do similar things to this Bottega recently has a tote that just looks like a craft paper bag but it's all leather Fendi did like light pink versions of their shopping bags the yellow versions of their shopping bags we've seen this right but we've not really seen it from Louis Vuitton so that was interesting now we're seeing crossbody square bag it's got a cute little top handle yeah that's fun and again we've got this bum bag here's the thing these bum bags are quite big like that's a sizable bag to be sl slanging around your waist or across the chest so fair enough you'll be able to get a lot of stuff in there I'm just kind of over bum bags in this shape in general so like I'm not particularly crazy about them to be honest like that's a great navy jacket you know and is this like pajamas sort of looking I don't know but either way I see so much more stuff that I would very happily wear in Louis Vuitton men's that I do in women's that is actually Louis Vuitton women's ready to wear is truly the worst. You've got a little wash bag again in red, you've got the um, little key pouch thing that they're doing in green. This I, this I hate. <laughs> I just, I'm not a fan of the colours. All of these key are going to do well. The speedies that we're going to see later are going to do even more well, I'm sure of it. This style, this bag style, I love. So you've got a really slouchy, sort of, um, you know, soft, round, bowling-y bag sort of style here with a thick top handle that, you know, sort of spans the whole length of the bag and a crossbody as well. I like the thickness of that handle. I like that they've contrasted it with the Vachetta leather. If you don't like the upkeep of Vachetta leather or you don't like it, you know, like when it gets water stains or how it ages and stuff like that with oils from the hands, this maybe is a, is a terrible idea, but I really like that. I think that's a really good bag. Again, we've got the bum bag. Look at that lovely coat. In the green, are you kidding me? It's fantastic. Also, this hat with the very long ear flaps. I love this all white damier situation. You've got a sort of Parker windbreaker. You've got the shorts here in a bigger damier print matched with the shirt that's smaller. You've got the bowling shoes. The bowling shoes in white are chic. Actually, no, these aren't the bowling shoes. These, these were interesting. Okay, these jackets. So there were two jackets that were very sort of like out there. And what is it? The Louis Vuitton Lovers Presents and then there's something at the back, but we'll never know. Is this in a terry cloth? Is this a terry cloth? And no, it's not. This is pearl beading, Cassie. Oh, that's a, that is a lovely, can you not? This is a lovely beanie with the pearl embellishments, okay? The little glasses. The glasses are very small for me. Not a fan of the glasses, really. You know, I'm much more of a, I like a larger, I like a larger eyeglass. The Alma that maybe looks like it has a scene of parry, pixelated. This, this outfit actually, not a fan of that. Let's move on. Green and white damier bent, great. This, again, the wash bag. And just as I was slandering, we have a pair of fantastic sunglasses. So I take it back. This is lovely, isn't it? This lovely little two piece with this sparkly little hat. What is this? That is just a leather football bag. These shoes are insane. They are crystal encrusted trainer boots. They all make, they look like moon boots, really. They look like over the top moon boots. Well, you know me, I love a crystal. I love a sodding crystal. What is this fun little bag? You are nice. You're interesting. You're round and you have a pearl handle. Okay, I'm intrigued. This jacket as well was fantastic. Oh yeah, just a casual pearl encrusted, you know, 35 speedy or whatever it is. Love it. Love the jacket as well. The jacket is very sort of Chanel tweed, which as we know, Pharrell has had a very good relationship with Karl Lagerfeld and, you know, the house of Chanel for many years. So I thought that was quite an interesting little thing there. Now we get to the bags that we saw a little bit of before the show. Um, in the campaign image, the first image that we saw uh, with Rihanna, or the speedy bags in a number of different colours, right? So you've got the yellow one, and we're going to go through more, but there was something he said about these bags that I found really quite funny and interesting. He was influenced by Canal Street. Canal Street in New York is where you go to buy fakes. They don't just have fakes there, but 
if you're in the market for fakes, go to Canal Street. He, he basically sort of um, talked about how, you know, you go to Canal Street and you see colorways of designer bags that you've never seen before, because they're fake, um, and why not make some of those colorways? So I thought that that was an interesting little, little tidbit in there. These are going to do phenomenally well. Is it just having to change the background color on a speedy to get us, you know, excited and to sell? Sometimes, yes, it is such a simple, stupid change, but it's gonna do really well. I really, I, look, I'm, I think I'm gunning for like a nano speedy in one of these colors, or maybe even, maybe even like a speedy this size. Maybe? Yeah, I kind of like it. Let me get this right. Um, all of these little faces here are parts of paintings by a famous black artist whose name escapes me at the moment, but I'll have it on the screen. So that what um, that's what all of these pieces um, have on them. What is this? Is this a little Alma that has those faces and the Louis Vuitton monogram? This jacket, again, Damier, but you've got this sort of brooch bedazzled something or other there that gives it this sort of you know a regal moment and then you also have this metallic this metal clutch and I don't know what that is or what it looks like but I like it the belt the belt is nice first of all I like the I like the loopy little LV that's nice a nice little you know logo twist there I don't know the model looks chic he was killing it We've got this pearl encrusted tracksuit, because why not? We've got the bedroom slippers again. Sign me up for those, I think, honestly. They look great. So, we're seeing, and this looks like a nano speedy. That looks like, couldn't tell you what size. But so far we've seen yellow, green, red. Oh, this is a little boat. And I felt like this was very virgil -y. You know, Virgil did that bag that looked like a plane for one of his Louis Vuitton shows. Um, I liked that. What is this? can't make out. This is a sort of play on the epi leather, but done, you know, like almost printed in denim it seems. And what are you? Again, this is sort of an interesting little bag. It almost looks like a little bit of a hobo bag with a pearl, with a pearl handle. Hmm, she's a dark horse and I like her. Okay, this is all very like schoolboy outfit. This is cute. The hats though, baker boy hats. I can't, cannot stand them. This jacket is very sort of like intrecciato weave looking. Look at that leather jacket. It's just got a couple of LVs splattered on there. Sometimes that's all it takes. <laughs> and then you've got this absolutely glorious metallic keypal that reminds me of the Miroir collection under Marc Jacobs, Paris Hilton, Nicole Richie, you know the vibes. Is that like a Speedy 20 in the yellow? Fantastic, yes. Oh, the bedroom slippers are also in black. Greens. Oh, look at those socks and look at those. Oh, I'm loving all the crystals. Fabulous trunk. You know, once it gets hard sided, sided with Louis Vuitton, it's like Chanel Price upon request territory. Again, great belt. I really like, look, I'm not one for like your normal Louis Vuitton monogram belt. This one though, I love, I love a good calligraphy looking logo moment. So I'm into that. Also orange. Fun fact, actually, looks like the orange is a collectible piece only for people who purchase trunks. Mm. This coat is amazing. And, you know, oh, hold on. Is that hard sided? Oh, that's great. That's great. I love it. It's like a bronzy. Yeah, fantastic. Great look. And again, look at that. Look at that bronzy little rose. Gold. This is not little. This is a very large trunk, okay? And of course, yes, yes, it deserves to be driven along in a golf cart because a trunk that looks like this truly deserves a royal treatment. Pharrell was in a full damier, damouflage pixelated suit, as was his whole family that I thought was really cute. Um, so he came out, he, um, and then he brought out the design team and I really liked that. Again, that's not the first time that we've seen a creative director do it, but I really do like it when they bring out the teams behind, especially because we know in a situation like this, he was announced in February, it's now June, four months, to create an entire spring summer collection. The majority of that lies on the design team. The majority of collections are, are on the design team backs anyway. So I just, I really like when they're given their moment because they rarely are. Pieces that I think I'm interested in pre-ordering 
we are looking at like nano speedies or little speedy versions in those you know primary colors i really love that like rose gold little handheld trunk thing i don't know let's see how much it is that determines everything um i love those house slippers i was like like oh maybe we throw in a jacket you know i'm a, ja I'm a jacket girl found that out recently last 12 months um i do love a good jacket let's let's have a gander at the, at the prices like i've said the collection is very safe but it's very wearable it's very it's going to be very commercially successful 98 percent of that collection you could easily weave into your wardrobe with zero issues i i was impressed to be very honest with you with his first collection announced in february showing in june filling the role of somebody who was widely loved especially for what he brought to Louis Vuitton men's. What did you think? I'm going to leave a link to another video over here in case you haven't already seen it. Have an amazing morning, afternoon or evening wherever you are and in the words of my father. If you've enjoyed it, tell your friends. If you haven't, keep your mouth shut. I'll see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye guys.